remember in, when you take photo classes, they give you projects like, hey, um, you know what, shoot an object, and then they're like two weeks later you turn it in. That's it, shoot an object. <laughs> so I'm like, you know what, I'll be tricky, I'm smart. I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna do something that's totally not cliche at all. I'm gonna shoot homeless people. <laughs> it's not a cliché project at all. You should do it. No one will get mad at you <laughs> during a critique. So, you know, I'm working all day. I'm working with homeless people. I give them a dollar. Hey man, let me shoot a picture of that cup. And I like your beard. So, I got this nice collection. I'm working all day. I'm rocking around downtown. And uh, I had to study still, so and I was commuting at the time. So I, I'm studying with friends, it's one o'clock, and time and time again, when I got real exhausted, I get a collapsed lung. And uh, <laughs> so I was, on, I was on my fifth of six, I was collecting them all. And so I, I was like, I gotta go guys, it's one o'clock. I don't feel so good. And I would try to park in this free spot by UIC. Uh, which was down on Jackson and Sangamon. And so I'm walking, and I, I kid you not, it was, it was foggy like a movie. It was so photographic and beautiful. <laughs> the orange lights in the fog. I'm walking, I'm like, wow, this is really beautiful. So I get out onto Jackson, and I look to the right, after I pass some buildings, and in the orange light, in the fog, in the middle of the street, I see a shadow walking towards me, and just holding my side. I'm like, oh, that's creepy. So, so I just keep walking to my blazer, my 89 blazer, which is sometimes reliable, sometimes not. Sometimes dumps its, its load of coolant, and then it just doesn't want to go anymore. And I still loved it. So I'm walking, I get to my car, and down the block I like, see that shadow. I get into my chair, and I'm like, oh, my lung. Oh, I, got, I got in, and then I hear, doo, 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 doo. I'm like, what? And I look over slowly, and there's a man in the window. And I'm like, what? And he's like, Ooh. And I'm like, oh my gosh, this is so scary. But, but wait, I've been, I've been working with people on the street all day. I, sh I, should, I should at least listen to what he has to say. So I, I open the window just a little, so, just so he can't get his fingers in. And I'm like, hey man, what's up? And he's like, can I get a ride? And I'm like, oh, so I close the window. <laughs> I just slump in my chair and make sure that it's locked. And I just look at him and he's still talking. <laughs> so I, I open it again. <laughs> and the crazy thing is, the window on this blazer was not always so reliable. <laughs> but it was working. So he goes, you look like a nice guy. Can I get a ride? And I was like, oh. But you know, when you're, when you're Asian, you have a lot of guilt. And, and you want to please your parents. You want to you wanna, you wanna prove to the world that you know, they raised you really well. So, and I wanted to give back, right? People on the street are not objects, like my project was trying to say. So, I was like, you know? So, I'm like, yeah, get in. Sure, why not? It's like one, one fifteen. So he gets in, and we're just sitting there in the dark, and I'm just holding, like trying to like secretly hold my lung, <laughs> and not let any hair, air come out on the side. And, and I go, where, where do you need to go? He's like, hey man, um, I, I want to get, I want to get some food, and so he's like, I can get chicken for twenty dollars. Uh, or for five dollars at this truck yard. He drives me, he brings me to this lot, and it's empty, it's a truck yard. I'm like, can we just go to Dominic's? And he's like, no, no, I have a guy. So he goes to this empty lot, and I'm, he has his hands in his pocket the whole time. I turned on Jesus music. So I'm just like, if he kills me here in this lot, 
at least he'll be listening to Jesus music and maybe feel bad about it. And he goes in, he's got red Chuck Taylors, he goes to the Chuck yard, I should have left, but I stayed. And I was like, I should wait for him, he might need a ride. Because he's gonna have all this chicken. So he comes in, he's like, the guy's not ready. He's like, I'm like, oh, okay. And I let him back in. I'm like, so what do you want to do? He's like, it, it'll be ready in an hour. So I'm like, okay, so we start driving around and we just start talking about his life. I got him mad at one point, which I think I, and I was like, uh, oh, you have a kid? No, you don't have a kid. You're just, you're just playing it. And he starts coughing. <laughs> and I'm like, oh no, he's going to stab me. Because you know, it's right in his pocket and he's getting really crazy. So I'm like, well, I want to see your kid. And so he takes me to this dark building, and he's like, he's like, be, be careful, Chris. Don't don't open the door. They'll kill you here, Chris. Just open it for me, okay? Just open it for me. So he gets out, and I'm waiting in the darkness, and then I just started laughing. I was like, what am I doing? So I drove off. And um, I, I, I feel like that day I, m I made my parents really proud <laughs> because I, I helped someone that day. <laughs>